Quizlet is a great study tool that you can tell your students about. It's a free website that lets people put their study cards online. They can choose to keep their study cards private, or they can share them with other people uh, and other groups, or make them public for anyone to see. It's a really great way to study vocabulary or any set of items that need to be memorized. Now, the Quizlet service online is not available in Japanese. It doesn't mean that you can't see Japanese on the cards. It just means that the uh, program's interface or the online services interface is available at this time in English only. How does it work? Well, let's take a look here. Let's create a new set. Okay. Uh, to create a new set, let's call it uh, vocab, vocab set, and uh, let's call it a sample. Now we can put in the word dog and choose a language to Japanese. Let's see. And so on. Choose a language, English and put it into Japanese. And then, if you want to add more to it, you can import data. Copy. Copy and paste your data here. Age, anyone, at home, and so on. Import it. Let's hit Create Set. And here's our set, vocab one, dog, age. Now students will study like this. Dareka, dareka, dareka wa nani? Eh? Ah, anyone da? Ah, narahodo. And so on and so on and so on. Um, to play a game, scatter is a, uh, a game I think that students really like. Oh, uh, how do we do it? Oh, uh, inu, dog, yay! Dareka, anyone, yay. Timer's up there so students can kind of play beat the clock just a little bit. Yay, I'm a winner. Oh, yay. I did it in 30 seconds. Well, it was, <laughs> it's about time I did something right in Japanese. What else can you do? Uh, you can test yourself like this. I made a D plus. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. I made a D plus. It means I'm not failing. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. So that's what you can do after you put your data in. You can memorize, study cards. Uh, you can study. You can play games and so on. The website service will make the quizzes and games automatically based on your data. You can access your cards through the website at any time on a PC or any of your mobile devices. So teachers, this is a very, very useful tool for students. Uh, it's free, it's easy to use. The biggest problem that you might have is if you don't know the, the program very well, you can't expect students to know exactly how it works either. So um, if you get familiar with Quizlet and at least make a couple of sets, you can understand the problems that your students might have uh, in making the sets and give them a little bit of guidance, you know. Uh, as with most things that are computer related, students aren't going to eagerly jump all over Quizlet unless they've had an, an adequate introduction from a tutorial like this um, or from the teacher. You know, if you as a teacher are really pushing students, make sure you use Quizlet and so on, then students will probably do that. Don't follow their progress or don't seem to care whether they use it or not. Well, they probably won't use it. For the iPad in the classroom, I'm Tom Kenny. Thanks for watching.